What's going on? Jacoby Kendrick here, the BJJ Realtor. Just wanted to come at you with another video. We are actually getting ready to head out to American Nationals, which is American Nationals 2020. Things are still crazy around here, but we are uh, still getting to compete. So that is, uh, I guess, still good. Still a good thing. Uh, but as I was getting ready for uh, this event, I uh, was taking a look at the rankings, found out that I am now the top five, in the top five for blue belts in Master 2 for IBJJF. So I thought I would just do a quick video on how do you rank? How do the rankings work? What are my thoughts on ranking? How do you rank up fast in B I B the IBJJF uh, if you are thinking about competing or want to compete or if rankings are important to you. Rankings aren't the end all be all about everything, but it's always good to see where you stack up against everybody else, right? Also, you know, like I said, we're getting ready to, we were preparing for American Nationals, so you probably see here, I've got something on my ear. Every time we start training for uh, no gi, I'll be doing gi and no gi this weekend. Every time we start training no gi, my ears take a pounding. I think it's because there's more guillotines in no gi, or I put my head in there more during no gi than I do with the gi. So, uh, actually trying to bring down some of the swelling in this ear, gonna have to probably drain it later on, but don't mind the collie buds here in the ear. All right. Uh, so, let's talk a little bit about rankings. I got a couple of notes here that I'm gonna be looking at, uh, that I'm gonna be referencing and uh, kind of talking about. So, the question is, how do you rank? fast how do you uh get your ranking up in specifically ibjjf going to give you three of my top thoughts on this and number one is you actually have to compete right so just going and competing in as many competitions as you can is going to be the best way for you to rank up because being number one in the rankings doesn't necessarily mean you're the best jujitsu athlete out there for IBJJF, what it does mean, because it's according to points, what it does mean though, is that you've probably placed, you've done very well, if there are people in your uh, weight division or in your division, um, that's usually what that means. And so let me explain that a little bit more. Because whenever you sign up, you know, let's say you're gonna go to a competition, for instance, I'm going to American Nationals this weekend. Usually American Nationals is a major tournament, so there's gonna be more people at this tournament. But if you go to like a local regional tournament, for instance, uh, the Houston Open, Dallas Open, Austin Open, sometimes there might not be as many competitors, and especially as a Masters. So a Masters two. I'm a blue belt master two, super heavyweight, so up to 222 pounds in the gi. And usually there are three to four competitors in the bracket. And what that means is, is if there are four competitors, everybody's gonna get a medal. If Even if you lose, you're still gonna get a bronze medal. So you're still gonna get points. Uh, so when I say just because you're number one does not mean that you're the best, uh, it just means that you probably either you number one have won a lot of tournaments or you've won major tournaments Which I'll explain later on how that works or you've just competed a lot And so there that, those are the ways that you can rank up you can compete a lot or you can actually win Competitions win major competitions and so that's why I say the first thing you have to do is just compete Just be out there putting yourself out there uh, competing as much as you can if rankings are important to you number two is you have to go to major tournaments and so one of the reasons why you have to go to major tournaments is because the tournaments are actually weighted differently so obviously the number one tournament that you can go to the absolute best is worlds for the gi it's worlds for uh no gi it's no gi worlds right and then for masters in the gi it's master worlds and so uh, if you're going to compete, going to those major tournaments is actually the best way to do that. So I'm going to take a look here. So Worlds is actually has a weight of seven times. OK. And then you have European Nationals, Pan, Amer the Pan, Pan Ams or the Pan Championships and then Brazilian Nationals 
has a weight of four. The Asian Championship and the Brazilian... Uh, um, okay, so Brazilian Nationals from 2020 and after have a weight of four. Brazilian Nationals up to 2019 had a weight of three, along with the Asian Championship. American Nationals, BJJ Pro, Pan Pacific Championship, and South American have a uh, weight of two. And then all of the Opens and all of that, they have a weight of one. Now, what does this mean? Okay, well, whenever you win first place in your weight division, you get nine points. If you get second place, you get three points. And if you get third place, you get one point. So uh, if you get first, you're going to have nine points. And then if you win Worlds, you're going to multiply that by seven. And then if it's in the current year that you won that, you're going to multiply that by three. So what does that mean? That means if you win Worlds, you're going to take your nine points in your weight division. You're going to multiply it by seven. Then you're going to multiply it by three because it's the current year. And that's going to give you 189 points. That's a lot of points. If you do that, um, and then also, well, I'll talk about the other piece next. But So that's going to give you 189 points for your weight division. That is a lot of of points so if you do that and you're also winning uh, your opens and you know or and you happen to win pans as well that will definitely probably put you as the number one uh, belt uh, in your in your age group now I'm just talking like masters and colored belts black belts uh, theirs is a little different you got to qualify for tournaments and all that stuff I'm not there yet so I'm just giving you this perspective from as a master to blue belt now the third uh the third thing that you need to do is you need to compete in whenever you do go compete you need to compete in your weight division and then you need to compete in the open class why is this well because you get those for instance if you are uh at an open and you get first place in your weight division you're gonna get nine points and it's in the current gear it's gonna be times three so that's gonna be 27 and open is only weighted at a one so you're gonna get 27 points well whenever you uh, sign up for your open class which your open class means that it's any weight so you're gonna be your age group your belt and then any weight there's there's not gonna be a weight class in there well when you do that when you win the open class you actually get 13 and a half points so you get more points for one in the open than you do your weight class, right? So you're going to get 13 and a half times three. So 13.5 times three, that's going to give you 40 points, 40 points for your open class. And then if you also won your division, actually it's 40.5. And if you won your division, you're going to get 27. So that's going to be 67 and a half points, right? So for one... Uh, competition in a weekend you can get 67 and a half points now if you do that in worlds that's gonna be obviously you can see how the points start to stack up now right so you're gonna want to compete more you're gonna want to go to major tournaments if you if you have to choose from tournaments and then you're gonna want to do your open and your weight class now in the beginning I didn't do the open class because I was just so tired from doing my weight class so I was like man I can't even do the open because I'm like broken up and all tired from doing the weight from doing my winning my weight class but eventually as I started to win as I started to get better I learned how to conserve energy and uh, now almost every tournament that I go to I always sign up for the open class and one of my excuses for signing up not signing up for the open class is I was like I'm just too tired well one of the upper belts at my academy he told me he's like dude everybody's tired man everybody has done what you've done and so I signed up for one open class and I did really, really well. I actually won it. And what I came to find out is like, I'm tired. They're tired. Everybody's tired that is actually signing up for the open class. So it's not this thing of like, I'm tired and everybody else is fresh. And so if you're interested in leveling up and have being higher in the rankings, then actually signing up for the open class is probably one of the best things you can do. Plus, especially if you're a heavier guy. Plus, you're going against, in order to sign up for the open class, you have to medal in your weight class. So now you're going against the best of uh, the belts 
in the weight class in the open class so you're doing even better or you're getting more competition more experience and that's only going to make you better right so uh just to recap those are the three things that you need to do right so number one is compete compete as much as you can just to get your points number two is go to the major tournaments when you have a choice because those are weighted more than uh, the open classes right and then lastly is do your weight division and also do the open division now I also want to say um, doing this is just gonna help your jiu-jitsu competing helps your jiu-jitsu the reason why is because it puts pressure on you you know whenever you're going to compete uh, you're always nervous you've always got a lot of pressure and the thing is, is that situation is gonna heighten your senses and you're gonna learn more after the fact after you get done competing it's just the way we remember things it's just how our body naturally learns things uh, when you have a lot of emotion and you learn something you actually retain it more and you learn more and it's gonna level up your um, level up your jiu-jitsu so I uh, hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions or uh, just sit, put your thoughts in the comments love to hear from you all right talk to you guys later